Okay, Rich Van Tassel here. It's Thursday, February 11th, 2016. I just woke up. It's about 9.30 right now. Probably going to be a little later when this video gets posted. I uh, saw something on Facebook that Milo Yilampolis, I believe is how you pronounce his last name. He's got a very Greek last name. He's a British uh, journalist. I believe he's the editor for Breitbart. Um, it might be altogether he's the editor for Breitbart. It's definitely in the UK. He is. He's a very conservative guy. Uh, I haven't known anything about Milo until a few weeks ago, so I guess it's you know a bit serendipitous that it came up today. Um, he's a provocateur, a guy I happen to like. Um, he uh, is very much against feminism. He's against um, you know the the coddling of people. And he was at Rutgers University. Now Rutgers University for me is probably like. 15 minutes from here i'm sure all those watching it since i'm in new jersey all the people who see this who you know i post it to facebook some will probably even have gone to Rutgers, but most of you uh at least in the new jersey area who will see this know um of Rutgers university it's almost impossible you don't for those of you who may catch this video who don't live in new jersey or haven't heard of Rutgers, it's uh like the main university here in the state of new jersey it used to be called uh the Sunge was the name for it, the State University of New Jersey, so it'd be like Ohio State or Nebraska or um, University of California or Oregon or any other school. It's the main school here in New Jersey. It's a very liberal place, um, as are most schools here in New Jersey. The school I went to, uh, Kane University, is a very liberal school as well. And just a little bit about me, I would con or I shouldn't say liberal, a progressive school because liberals are good people, progressives are not. Uh, I got to make that distinction. But uh, I was very much on the left wing until I started going to the school uh, at Kane, where you realize just how ridiculous these people are, and they're not fair at all. And um, that's what they do there at Rutgers. So that's what they were doing. And he was basically. I was just watching some of the videos someone posted. The video isn't even four and a half minutes long. And about a minute, two minutes in, excuse me, they are saying that this man represents hate and they start smearing blood on their face because he was talking about trigger warnings. And for those of you who don't know what trigger warnings are, it's where you say something and a person who's been coddled their entire life can't handle it. And they immediately ask to either be... Um, I guess dismissed from the class or they um, look for punishment for the person who's saying the opinion they don't agree with. I don't know. I mean, I only graduated college four years ago, but they didn't have trigger warnings then. It's a relatively new thing. Uh, and that's when, you know, the entire audience went up in arms and started doing this. Now, uh, trigger warnings are ridiculous because the statement Milo made was uh, if you have trigger, if you or any student who asks for a trigger warning in a school, should be immediately expelled because they show that they can't handle or they can't do what the minimum requirements of their course uh, would have them do because they can't deal with any uh, opposing viewpoints. And I would have to agree with that. If you can't, um, you know, handle something that someone else says that's an opposing viewpoint, then you really have no business graduating college. And uh, it's a reason why a lot of people probably get degrees who don't deserve it. And then it weighs down, you know, people like me who have a degree and can't get anything because you get a lot of these, you know, coddled babies who can't handle any sort of opposing viewpoint with a degree. And it waters down the degree where you should be weeding these people out and the college degree would have more value. They're just giving it to anyone. And that's what you go to college for, to learn opposing views. Now, I'm not one of the people who's in favor of just saying anything without repercussion because people need to toughen up. No, I'm not saying that. You don't just go up to a gay person and say you're a faggot or you queer or anything like that. Or you don't just go up to a black person and call them a nigger or, you know, a, a Hispanic person and call them a wetback or anything. No, no, that's not what I'm trying to... That's not the point I'm trying to make here. Uh, you shouldn't be allowed to do that. But if you say something like, I don't know, um, alimony is a problem and women shouldn't get as much money as they do from alimony, that's a perfectly reasonable point. But a feminist would have a problem with it. You get what I'm saying? I'm talking about things like that. Or um, the police officer was justified in shooting Michael Brown. 
in Ferguson, Missouri, because I didn't get to that point in the video, but it says that he was going to talk uh, the BLM, which are the Black Lives Matter supporters, and I know where side he's going to come out on that. If you say things like that, which are just opposing viewpoints, of course, you know, I mean, the alimony you may get away with at a college campus, the Black Lives Matter going against them, you will not, especially a place like Rutgers, only a conservative school would you have any chance. But you're not going to get away with that at Rutgers. It's saying things like that, that a student should be able to handle that and listen and be able to deal with opposing viewpoints in that case. So uh, thanks for watching. Again, we just woke up and saw that. And Milo is someone I don't even think I've known of Milo until 2016. And I've been watching him and really, really, really liking him. And he's a guy who I'd like to uh, possibly have a career similar to at this point. I'm a little disappointed. I missed him that he was here in New Jersey. But uh, we saw that, so we wanted to do this video. And thank you so much. Remember, subscriptions would be appreciated. And we will see you again later today, Thursday, with any other Flash News alerts. And remember, tomorrow, Friday, we should be back on the radio, weather permitting, 90.5 HD3. Thank you so much, folks.